Have you ever wondered why on earth you need to alt tap all the time? Screens of a laptop are quite small, and if you work remotely a lot, then good succession, improving your posture and efficiency at work would be an external screen. Who wouldn't want to have a remote office setup where the efficiency just flows and the area is easy to keep clean? Considering my workload, I started to think about tackling the constant alt tapping and how to do that. The first thing would be to increase the vertical screen real estate. Here is my example. I have my client software open on the left side of my main screen and the Word document what I use for temporal saves is on the right side of my main screen. Alternative sources and Skype slash Teams can be easily accessible on my laptop screen. All of this application can be open and available me at one glance. It's important when creating your setup to think about your case and the most efficient way to do the work. So if you would like to have easy solutions and tips for your home office setup, I'm glad that you are here. If you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Jan. Because of my work, people's health and economics are close to my heart and I want to help to improve your remote work efficiency. If you like this content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with the button down below. And remember to turn on notifications. And now back to the video. To start, we need a wider screen. This time I ended up buying Lenovo 29 inch Think Vision monitor. With the legs attached, the unit weights 6.6 kilos. To ease the mind and your life, I suggest always aiming for the screens what have VESA mount. When the screen can be easily raised and lowered, it can aid in the economics of a workspace immensely. I contacted Neomode's presenter and asked, how on earth can we fix this issue? And he came up with the solution. The 70 monitor arm, where you are able to install external screen via Visa mount, while also having another leg with mounting plate for the laptop. This video has been made with commercial partnership with Neomodes. So what makes the monitor arm so convenient for this situation? Well, lack of space was a big issue once I landed to this office environment and I wanted to have wheels under the table so it's easy to move around when needed. This unit has one leg stand. Lifting force is around 50 kg and the surface of the table is 80 cm in width and the depth is 65 cm. Just because your workplace is small doesn't mean that you are not able to build an economic environment. The first pole of the monitor arm is short and it has great ease of the movement in small spaces. You are also able to push the screen away quite easily if need. The nickname of this arm is T-Rex. It comes from the upper pole being small when compared to the rest of the poles. A good ergonomic distance for yourself to the screen is arm length plus 10 cm maximum depending on the size of the screen. The monitor arm can be easily locked at 180 degrees so you don't bump to your wall or in my case be messing around with the acoustic panels of the wall while making the adjustments. Here is an example from the acoustic panels on my own home office. My panels can get easily bruised and ruined, but not from this monitor arm. Here is another excellent tip. Don't leave your drumsticks to the room where you have young kids visiting. Acoustic panels are just too good for hitting. Concerning about my table, I had to make small install adjustments. I did not put it on the end of the table, preferably to right side. With that, I can open the hinge of 180 degrees and then I can push the screens way more deeper, maintaining good distance to screen. The monitor arm is designed to work with 17 or 22 inches screens with maximum monitor weight of 9 kilos. In this model, we have a gas ring and it's recommended to do slight adjustments for the counter poles. When they are settled well, slight movements of the screen can be done easily, also making the changes of the height of your laptop convenient. I like to have my screens in a way that I can easily rotate my main screen towards the client and show them 
what is on my display when need. For the clients who have very focal glasses, it's easy to drop the screen low, so that it's almost touching the desk. With varifocal glasses, the lower part of the glasses is polished in such a way that small area of the bottom of the glasses is designed for the reading and in arm's length away. If you are using those kind of glasses and you have already tension headache from them, then check the suggested video at the end of this video. If we think about the optimal height for your screen, place your elbows at the top of the desk, close your eyes and find comfortable position for the neck. When there is no tension and your posture feels good, then open up your eyes and see where the top of the screen is. Bring the top of the bezel of your monitor to eye line in the comfortable posture discovered before. And that will be the optimal screen height allowing your neck to be comfortable and your eyes to stay fresh. How about neck rotation? In my office, client is always sitting on the left side of me and I want to keep my alternative screen on the right side. So I get both rotation in swim. If we bend down or up during the rotation, then we are using the small muscles of the spine in support. They are really small and they get fatigued quite easily. To prevent that, try to maintain good level of the alternative screen relative to your main monitor. Neumons also included notebook V200 bracket, which is designed for 10 to 15 inch laptops. With the mounting device, I can easily elevate the alternative screen to high enough so that my chin is not going down when looking at that screen. Also, when the laptop is elevated, it's easy to keep clean and spacious. For the end result, I cannot be happier. With the right solution and imagination, you can really get the best working from home setup possible. On the new mode basis, you can find really informative video about setting up the arm, which I will link down below. If you have any questions, put them down below and the links will be in the description. Next suggested video will be the tension neck or how to set up your office chair like a champ. See you in there.